Chapter 10. Ruth Rose, what are you talking about? Josh said. Dink didn't know what to think except that he was getting a headache. What makes you think I'm Wallace Wallace? Mavis asked. Ruth Rose walked over to Mavis. May I borrow your scarf? She said. Ruth Rose held the scarf up so everyone can see it. When I first saw this scarf, I thought that little black letters were M's, she said. M for Mavis. She looked at Mavis Green. But they're not M's, are they? She turned the scarf completely upside down. What do they look like now? Dink stepped closer. They're little W's now. Right. W, W for Wallace, Wallace, Ruth Rose pointed at the man. You just said you live in a little cottage, but Wallace, Wallace lives in a big castle in Maine. It says so on the cover of the s silent swamp. Ruth Rose pointed at Mavis's book bag. Seeing your bag again made me remember something I thought of today. Josh read the, that your castle was called Moose Manor. There's a picture of a moose on the side of your bag. Ruth Rose handed the scarf back to Mavis. And we read that Wallace Wallace's favorite color was green. You like green ice cream. And you chose Mavis Green for your fake name. Everyone started was staring at Ruth Rose, except for the man that they had untied. He started laughing. The cat's out of the bag now, sis, he said. Then Mavis laughed and gave Ruth Rose a hug. Yes, Ruth Rose, Mavis says. I am Wallace Wallace. She put her hand on the man's shoulder, and this is my brother, Walker Wallace. We've been planning my kidnapping for weeks. Dink stared at Mavis, or whoever she was. You mean Wallace Wallace is a woman, he said? Yes, Dink, I'm a woman, and I'm definitely Wallace Wallace, she winked at him. Honest. Mavis, the real Wallace Wallace, sat on the bed. She took off her glasses and put the pulled the barrettes out of her hair. She shook her hair until it puffed out into a mass of wild curls. Thank goodness I can be myself now, she said. All day, I've had to act like a timid Mavis Green. I can't wait to get out of this fuddy-duddy dress and into my jeans again. She kicked off her shoes and wiggled her toes in the air. Boy, does that feel good. Dink blinked and shook his head. Mavis Green was really Wallace Wallace. He couldn't believe it. But why did you pretend to be kidnapped, he asked. The real Wallace Wallace grinned at the kids, surprised faces. I owe you an explanation, she said. My new book is about a children's mystery writer who gets kidnapped. In my book, some children rescue the writer. I wanted to find out how real kids might solve the mystery, she explained. She smiled at Dink. Then your letter came inviting me to Greenlawn. That's what gave me the idea to fake my own kidnapping. I became Mavis Green and watched what happened. Oh, yeah, Dink said. In your letter, you said you were doing some research in Connecticut. She nodded. Yes, and I mentioned the word kidnap in the letter to get you thinking along those lines. She smiled at the three kids. I thought I have to give you more clues, but you solved the mystery all by yourselves. Dink laughed. You recognized me in the bookstore from my picture, he said. And you didn't send me a picture so I wouldn't recognize you. That Then my nutty sister dragged me into her plan, Walker Wallace said. I should be home checking my lobster pots. While you were eating lunch, Walker, 
I ate hours up here, Wallace said. Then, just before two o'clock, I tied him in the chair and ran downstairs to meet you out front as Mavis. Wallace Wallace threw back her head and laughed. Do you remember downstairs when Dink said there was something fishy on the third floor? She got up and stood next to her brother. Well, I'm always teasing Walker about smelling fishy from handling his lobster bait. So when you said something was fishy in the hotel, I had to pretend to cough so you wouldn't know I was really laughing. Boy, did you have us fooled, Dink said. Wallace Wallace grinned. Mr. Patsky was in on it. I had to tell him the truth. As you saw this morning at the book nook, my little scheme made him very nervous. I promised him I would come back and do a real book signing soon, but I'd be in disguise, so be prepared for anything. Dink shook his head. I was so disappointed because I couldn't meet my favorite author this morning, he said, and I've been with you all day and didn't even know it. She looked at Dink. I'm so sorry I tricked you. Will you forgive me? Dink blushed. Sure. I have a question, Josh said. Where did you really sleep last night? Right here in room 302. A few weeks ago, I telephoned to reserve two rooms next to each other. Last night, I checked into room 303 as Wallace Wallace, the man. Up in room 303, I took off the hat and coat and sunglasses. Then I sneaked back down to the lobby wearing a blonde wig. I checked in again this time into room 302. Did you smudge the signature, Ruth Rose asked? Oh, you noticed that, Wallace said. I'm so used to signing my real name in books, I started to write Wallace, so I accidentally smudged it. I have a question, Mavis. I mean, Mrs. Wallace. What should we call you, Dink said. My friends call me Wallace, she said. Well, the taxi driver told us that you were smiling in the taxi. What were you smiling about? Wallace Wallace was smiling now. Oh, about a lot of things. First, I was wearing a man's disguise and made me feel pretty silly. And I knew I was going to meet you, one of my biggest fans. And I was happy because I knew whatever happened the next day would be fun. I sure had fun, Josh said, grinning. Poor Mr. Patsky, having to lie to everyone with a straight face. Boy, did I have a hard time pretending to be Mavis all day, Wallace said. But my plan worked. I met three brilliant detectives. You helped me to see how real kids would investigate a kidnapping. Now I can go back to Maine and finish my book. How come your book jackets never say that you're a woman? Ruth Rose said. Wallace Wallace smiled. Because my name, most people assume that I'm a man, she explained. I let them think that, that so I can do my research easier. I've learned that people clam up if they know I'm Wallace Wallace. So out in public, I pretend I'm Mavis Green, just a regular person, not a mystery writer. I get it, Dink said. You don't have your picture on your book, so people can't recognize you. Right. I hope you keep my secret. We will. Right, guys? Ruth Rose said. Thank you. Any more questions, Wallace asked. Yeah, Walker said, giving his sister a look. When do we leave? I've got lobsters waiting for me. I have a question too, Dink said. Will you send me your picture now? Yes, but I'll do better than that, Wallace said. I'll dedicate my next book to my three new friends. Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose did a triple high five. Excuse me, Mr. Linkletter, from the door where he had been standing. They all looked at him. It's nearly checkout time. Everyone laughed. Mr. Linkletter smiled, but just a little.